except now I'm still inside of the case. Oh, this is the part that takes a long time. This is the part where the professor is going to edit the code, but I want to say this we're still dealing with the case where we have a body. And I'm going to go ahead and type all of this in and spare you the, all of the legs because that will just take some time and hopefully you can be working through this on your own and uh, work through copying some of that code and perhaps think about what it's doing. Yeah, I figured out how to do this the quick way. Um, and if we have a tail, it's the last piece, then we need to add in last piece, and we say return result. So, I should be able to compile that. What? What? Oops. Oh, I see. I've upset my comments. Uh, I had a return statement hanging around from earlier. So I should be able to do this. New beetle. Two string. No beetle parts. New beetle. Add a body. Okay. New body, new beetle, two string. Ooh, uh, hmm. I'm gonna because of the way Blue Jay does that. I'm going to do something which is public print beetle, and it will return nothing, and it will do this system dot out dot println two string. It will just call to string and print it. That might be useful. Get a new beetle. Let's add a body. Okay. And I'm now going to print the beetle. Woo! Look! Only the body of the beetle was printed. Uh, if I clear the screen, if I come down here and I say print beetle, you can see it prints the body. That's pretty exciting. Oh. So, I'm going to stop there. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and edit the recording again. Um, because the logic... I'll go ahead and add one body part here um, in an interactive way. And then you're on your own for the rest. Because they're all very similar. So, for example... <clears throat> 